A dose of Kevin Samuels' knowledge a day keeps the bad chicks and gold diggers away. A man that's making $400,000 a year in LA, under 35. What, do that, what does that person do for a living? He could do real estate, stocks, he could do media. He could do a lot of things. There's a lot of different mm -hmm. things. Right. What, do you care if he's black or not? What percentage of men in this country earn over $400,000 a year? Okay, so I would definitely say that um, I guess 10% of men make that. I don't know. So, man, what I'm trying to show you is joking or not. I'm hoping you're joking because your grasp of observable reality is out of this world. $400,000. And you wonder why they can't find a man when the average man in this country is making $50,000. 10% of men in this country make six figures. Did you see how she looked when he said the average man makes 50,000, shaking my head. The way these women think are really, really selfish and delusional. Her face doesn't qualify for a 400k man. Maybe if she got him while he was on his way up, but not while he's at the finish line. Much better options out there for a 400k earner who's single. 400,000 a year, man will laugh if she was trying to shoot her shot. 400k is the president's salary while in office. Reality is not important to that woman. She can fantasize as much as she wants, but the thing is that most men are not making top dollar, and those who do are not looking for a woman of that caliber. Some women are successful, but often sabotage their own relationships, just like the following. My goodness. Hi, how are you? You been smoking that 420? No, I haven't. I you know, I was sitting kind of low. A little. I've been drinking a little. All right, what you got for me? Um, so I feel like I, I'm definitely no. I'm a high value woman. I'm quality. Went to a you know great college, great family. Okay, go ahead. Honey, I'm listening. Fun. I can cook. You know, I, I can kind of do it all. Um, all right. and then you say guys want all of these things. I think approach start dating someone and i'm in i wouldn't say entertainment i'm an event planner so i'm the scene i'm always connecting immediately. how old are you huh how old are you huh 29 29 so what's the issue um so once we get in a relationship they truly show their insecurities and they don't like me being around certain vip scenes or going to certain events and venues and want to sit me down and, you know, have me barefoot and pregnant, whatever you want to call it. Look at his face. Betcha he's about to debunk her narrative. But that's, uh, no. that's not my career. It's not what I'm about hold to do. On. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let's have a conversation. Okay. Uh, 29, what state are you in? Texas. Okay. I hope you're not in Dallas. I'm in Houston. Mm. Finesse Capital of Texas. Finesse Capital of Texas. You are correct. Well, yeah, I know. I used to live there. So here's the thing. Do you want to be married? I do. Children? Um, as of recently, I, I feel like I need children more than want them. That's the thing. AKA the wall is coming through. What does that mean? Um... I didn't always want children, and recently, with my grandmother passing, seeing my aunt and my mom take care of her, I feel like I don't want to die alone, so... You see, when some men advocate for values like the family unit, it's not for the sake of oppression or going backwards. Strong families keep society away from degeneracy, and that's what we're living in real time. If you know, you know. Sadly, most women are not wifeable at all. So, um, do you go to college in Texas? No, I went to Howard. H-U. You played sword? No. Okay. Um, children, before you didn't want children, um, come back to that one, but... It's like, why do men want to... They think you're all fun and cool and, you know, pretty and smart and all this, but then they get insecure and... Well, let, me get to, oh. let me get to my point. Okay. Let me get to my point because... You say men, and I can't, I can't let that go. The men you got, that's mm -hmm. not all men. All True. right, so when's your last relationship? Um, 
official long term about two years ago. And how long did Men that don't approach me, so you should know. How long did that last? Huh? How long did the relationship last? A year. Okay. So you, I don't doubt that you can attract men, but it sounds like you either have a hard time. It sounds like you have a hard time attracting men that you value. Put it that way. Yes, I attract. Right. But the question is, what do the men you want want from a woman? So you, when you came on, you came out with the resume. I'm this and that. I'm great. I'm, and that's mine. Mm -hmm. But tell me about what the men that you all want from a woman. Run that I, resume down. And they want all the qualities that I have. I would. Well, then you should have no problem. That's what I'm saying. I should have no problem. But the parents, well, but but, just, but but apparently that's not what they want. And what you and what you are offering is if what you're offering, you say that's what they want, then you should have no problem. And the thing is, do you make room for the possibility? It may be you present the looks component, but don't present the other part. I have, but I don't. Okay, think do you, okay. Not wanting children. Why didn't you want children? That's when I was selfish. Exactly, and I wanted you to say the selfish word. You know what I mean, men don't want selfish women. Oh, at all. I exactly. I I exactly. Simple as that. Men don't want selfish women. They'd rather go for a cooperative woman who thinks of the common good instead of herself all the time. She can go with her me, myself, and I kind of lifestyle away or become the woman men want. So selfish. So when you said I didn't want children, you notice I keyed on that because I'm like, well, there's a selfish one. Yeah. So most of them don't want children because I don't want to mess up my body. I don't want to, you know, my life, my career, my this, that, whatever. It's all about you. So the kind of oh, men, that, the kind of men that, the kind of men that, the kind of men that are intimidated or whatever, that's just whatever you classify. They want something else. They want feminine, beautiful, inspirational, cooperative, submissive women who are trying to get on their page. Do you want to have? So you start with ask the question after you get married. Do you want to have children? And afterwards, do you want to work? You just now want children. So what do you want? The power couple thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I really, having kids is me being selfish, but also I want to really take care of my husband. Like, I want mm -hmm. him to have 100% of me when we're at that point. Okay, I get it, so, I get it, but what, okay. I'm I get it, I get it, I, I get it, but that's what you want, what about what he wants? See, okay, let's, let's say this, how much money would you want your husband to really understand you? To live the life you want, to eat, travel, hair, makeup, shopping, king, family. Come on, give it to me. Don't, don't hide it. Uh, 500000 All right. And what percentage of men earn that? Huh. Very little. What percent? You know, I mean, if you're talking all races, I would think. I just said what percentage of men earn that? Oh, um, maybe like, what, 7% or something? Not one percent. One percent. I mean, you're, you're hard. I mean, I'm trying to break this to you, but uh, I don't know why living in Texas, you should uh, put it this way: three percent earn around three hundred thousand more. Five hundred thousand will top one percent of all men. And guess what? Men don't go and do what they have to do to become those kind of men. And what age do you think those men are when they're earning their kind? 40s. Right. And what do men want who have fought in corporate America or fought in the work world for 20 plus years? They want kids and a legacy. True. And, but I do want kids now. That was my but, but that's di but, but that's recent. What you said earlier was what I believe to be the truth. I want to focus on my husband. Great. That will make you a good first wife or a starter wife that typically men want legacy they want a woman who's going to give them three or four kids for that half a million dollars they're earning because they got to pass it on somewhere they don't want to leave it to their dog so the kind of men you're dating probably are these guys who want a woman to do the power couple thing 
Y'all want some 50 50 split in the bill kind of shit, which is fun. Oh no. Oh no. She's successful, graduated from a top university, but still wants a 500k a year kind of man. Hypergamy will always be there, just like the man's preference for altruistic women and not selfish ones. Let's check some comments. She has a face like an experienced street fighter. I'd rate her a 1. If she's getting approached by 3s, she should feel lucky. A wife versus a modern woman are so different. They might as well be different species. It's a mindset. Focus, the way you move through the world. She would not be an amazing mother. She needs to have a true desire because it's not about baby showers and monthly posts about infant growth. It's about the child and a lifetime of commitment no matter how many obstacles come along, how little attention and alone you may be. It's about another human being's investment and growth. She is not a mother. To listen to some of these modern women with their masculine energy and non-stop chatter, I wonder why any peace and quiet loving hardworking man would want to marry such a woman. The level of delusion in modern women is mind-blowing. 500k and she offers nothing but headaches and taking half your shit in 3-4 to four years. It's not worth it. Women still don't know the difference between insecure and standards when it comes to men, but when it comes to themselves, they understand the difference very well. Funny how that works. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more daily content. Like, subscribe, and comment. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.